Hello, hello. We are live. Okay. So we're going to do something different today. I'm going to show you how I blend. It's one technique of how I blend colored pencils using some brushes, yes, and a solvent. This is what I use. It's a Gamsol. It's a artist's oil colors and um, it's mineral spirits solvent. Uh, it's odorless, it's very, very good for blending. Highly recommend it. Okay, so let's start and just clean off the surface here. Hey guys, Dr. Snapple Apple is back. Daryl runs. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I have some solvent in a plastic container, just a little bit. See, and I'm using, I'm going to first start off using a round brush. How are you guys doing? I also have some paper towels nearby just to uh, wipe off the excess. Let's uh, fix this camera a bit. All right, so let's start. Start blending. Start off slow. I'm gonna. Do the ears. I usually like to blend the darks first. I'm doing well, Dr. Snapple Apple. How are you? How was the rest of your weekend? Hey, Catherine. Oh, thank you. Thanks for joining again. Oh, you're good, good. I'm glad. This reminds you of your bulldog. Really, Daryl? How old's your bulldog? This is actually a boxer, but they kind of look alike. Yes, very nice to see you too, Catherine. See how the colors are Nicely blending together, making it look more solid and smooth. What's her name? What's your bulldog's name? And she's turning two. Oh, four. Turning four in January. January 2nd. Okay. It's 
very lightly dabbing paper, going from one section to another. See how those colors are actually getting richer? I love this part, it's like painting. I miss painting. Actually, Catherine, I don't know if you, uh, you probably missed the beginning. I'm using a solvent. It's, um, it's this, it's a Gamsol solvent to blend the colors. So it's, it's sort of a wet brush, yes, technique. Yes, I'm using Prismacolor's uh, Dr. Dr. Snapple. Oh, thank you, Mel, pl Mel plays. I appreciate that. She, of course, she had to. We had to call her queen. She's treated like one too. She has her own coat, shoes, nice and human pet. Hey, that's the life, right? I want the dog's life. All you do is eat, sleep, play, and go potty. I want that life for one lifetime. <laughs> as mm -hmm. long as I have uh, very loving uh, owners, that's the key. Catherine, I'm, right now I'm using uh, Arteza watercolor paper, cold press watercolor paper. Actually, let me see if I could uh, grab it real quick. It is this one. You see it? Watercolor. That's what it's called. You guys see it? Arteza. It's great. Yes, it does. It it definitely has uh, a lot of tooth in it, and um, it doesn't warp when I use this solvent on top. You are quite welcome. Mm. 
Make sure you don't add too much solvent because then it wets the paper too much and it might ruin the, the texture of the paper if it's too damp. Are you guys working on any art projects or drawings, paintings? What's up? Dr. Snapple's working on a border collie. Cool. Is that for a client, a friend, a gift? What is it for, just for yourself? It's just for fun. I'm still young, so I don't have any clients, but I hope that one day I'll be able. Yes, awesome. Yes, you will be able to sell your art as long as you keep a portfolio, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, any social media, so clients can find you. It's mucho important, mucho, mucho important. Work on this ear. Ugh, I miss painting. I gotta paint something soon, even if it's just for fun. Daryl is working on some chihuahuas. They are brothers, but one of them died. So I'm drawing the family Christmas. Nice, a Christmas present. Nice, awesome. Good for you, man. That is a lovely, lovely gift. I'm sorry one of them passed. They always go too fast. I really like this method because after you blend everything together and it dries, you can add another layer uh, of darks and details. It's really easy to layer your work with this method.
careful and leave some highlights in certain sections. What mediums do you guys like to use the most? If you do have a favorite. on the big areas first. Catherine likes oil, nice. Oil, oh, oil is hard for me. I never really uh, practiced enough of oil that I was comfortable using it. How long have you been painting in oil, Catherine? Wow, four to five years, nice. You haven't been painting? Oh, when are you gonna get back into it? Soon, yes. That was the answer I was looking for. Nice.
See the difference between this eye and this eye? It's like so much richer. So I'm gonna switch brushes, I think, to a smaller round brush. Beverly, Beverly, for W41, hello, how are you? Thank you, Beverly. I appreciate that. Take it slowly in this area. Don't want to rush it. Right, doesn't it, Catherine? It's so much richer, right? I really love this technique. It's like a fast way, not really fast, but it's like another cool way to burnish your colored pencils. And you get to paint which is, you know, a different, a different um, mental load. Relaxing. Beverly, I'm using Prismacolor pencils. I'm using uh, Arteza watercolor paper. And the solvent I'm using to blend is Gamsol solvent. You can see the difference between these two eyes so much deeper and richer. I love it. And after all of this dries, I'm going to add a, another layer of details that will make everything more cohesive, add more texture, and more realism. That's the goal. Yes, it's odorless. Um, yeah, it says right here if you, I don't know if you could see it. Odorless Mineral Spirits, definitely. That's why I like this brand. You guys see that? Or odorless. So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Blending in the darks first.
Let me clean this off. It's getting too dark. Make sure you clean off your brush if it's getting too much pigment. Because you don't want to muddy all the colors. This dog looks like my dog. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, you're right. <laughs> That's funny. I could definitely see my boxer in, uh, in this dog. What's funny is I actually have not drawn my dog yet, and it's uh, it's hard. It's hard to pick the photo that I'm going to draw from. I've taken millions of photos and I can't decide. I don't know how my customers pick the photo they want for their drawing because I can't do it. I can't do it. Catherine, what did you use to paint in oils? What kind of subject matter? Classical still lives and portraits. Nice. Very nice. Do you have your work somewhere where I could see that? See some of it? If so, please share. Share the link or website. Portraits of two-legged and four-legged, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I prefer four-legged. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch pencils. I mean pencils, brushes, a smaller brush.
Yes, me too. They are sweethearts. And well, since I painted, but some things. Oh, okay. Been a while since I've been. Sorry. Uh, got it. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Catherine Dana Halpern.com. Let me write this down. Excuse me. Hold on. Sometimes when I replay the chat, it doesn't show me everything. So I want to make sure I write this down. Thank you for sharing. I will check you out. All the forms, the modeling and drawing are looking so much. Oh, yes. Aren't they looking so much richer? Yes. Yes, I love it. There are sections I want to add more um, colored pencil to. Uh, I missed them, but I could do that uh, later. Or in, uh, after everything is uh, settled and dried. Thank you, Catherine. And thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. those jowls. I love these jowls. No, no. 
the switch brushes. Yes, uh, Beverly, this is actually a surprise Christmas present. So don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to keep it a secret by publicly showing it live. <laughs> I actually didn't advertise this on uh, Facebook because the owner of this dog might see it. So you guys get a sneak peek. And YouTube. YouTube gets a sneak peek. Isn't his collar cool? Yeah, I want to get one for my doggy, for my boxer. Yes, hopefully, Beverly, they are not watching. <laughs> I know they're definitely not on Twitch, so we're safe there. Uh, Facebook, definitely, so I didn't advertise on Facebook. Um, and they're probably not on YouTube, so... I think we're pretty safe. You recently figured out Twitch thing. You have not heard it before. Yes, I know. That's awesome. Me too. I only started about a month ago. It's pretty cool. I see a lot of gamers on here and it's very interactive. Like you could add all sorts of effects. Uh, camera angles and notifications and badges, all of those things that I have yet to learn. So right now I'm keeping it simple.
What do you guys usually watch on Twitch? Oh, you like Twitch because interactive, but also seems more protected, huh? Protected in what way? Angels? Yes, I do like angels. You've looked at other artists. Nice. Well, I'm glad you found me. How did you guys find me? If uh, Facebook exposed whatever you post everywhere, which can be good or maybe not. Oh, okay. I also followed Canadian Gentleman who is streaming. Oh, nice. Yeah, everybody is streaming. It's crazy. It's like everybody can have their own TV channel, you know? It's kind of crazy. Wow, really? Twitch sent you a message. Interesting. Huh. That's kind of cool. Good to know. Twitch recommends uh, new people. Good to know. There's organic or random reach, random exposure. And I agree, Facebook is more exposed. Everybody is on Facebook. And it comes up on Google searches, all of those things. So now let's uh, finish this neck. And then I want to work on the collar. I love I love the collar. What's the name of the Canadian artist that you follow? Um, Beverly, I want to check him out. I need to explore more on Twitch and follow other artists. I have followed some. 
but most of them are like um, cartoon illustrators and digital designers. Like I want to follow someone that's doing more traditional art, you know? Oh, yay, Catherine. I'm so happy. You think so? That it's coming, coming to life. It's richer. All good news. All good news. Sorry about that. Okay, that's a better angle, I think. I'm gonna finish off this body and then we're gonna move on to the fun collar. Oh, he's an actor, okay. He's a different kind of artist. Switch brushes for this small area. Let's get to the collar. Let's do the reds first. Make those pop out. I actually need to add a different, a darker hue to this red. It's not this bright. And part of it is in shadow. Thanks, Dr. Snapple Apple. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do some blues.
How much time do I have you spent on this project? Oh, uh, hmm. Let me count. Uh, I did, I think I did about four hours yesterday. So I've been live for an hour now, so six hours in total. Oh, wait, did I say four? I did that math wrong, sorry. Five hours. <laughs> wow, my brain. Too much digital noise. I try to average out my portraits between, well, at this size, this is a nine by 12 inch. So I try to complete them within eight to 10 hours. So I still have pretty ways to go. I think the longest commission that I spent working on was 80 hours, and it was a horse. It was huge. It was 16 by 20 inches big. Just graphite pencil. It wasn't even colored pencil. It took forever. It took forever. I learned a lot though. It's probably the hardest piece. Because I'm not used to drawing horses, you know? So the texturing and all the different forms and shapes and oh my gosh, so many. Just on the nose alone. It's crazy. Craziness, craziness. What's the longest uh, um, artwork that you've guys, you guys have? Uh, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. What's the longest time you spent on a piece of artwork? Wow. That took a while to come out. Yes, I agree. Horses are definitely not easy. Oh my gosh, I don't know how many times I cried over that portrait. I'm like, I'll never finish or I can't do this. But somehow I figured it out. Somehow I prevailed. <laughs> Talk about angels watching over me. The drawing angels help me finish that piece. I agree. They're probably the most beautiful animals to capture. Totally agree. Next time, though, I am going to charge more because it took forever. <laughs> I 
It's been many years since I've done any artwork you don't remember. Oh, okay. That's fair. Are you going to get back into doing some art? That's the question. That is the question. Catherine says, don't know. Some still lives or portraits I think about for quite a while. Right before I even start, so sometimes the design of creative time can be quite some time as well. Yes, I agree. Yes. That is true. You gotta account for the time that you that you think about it, right? And then you uh, analyze it and see what else you could work on and fix or modify. Snack potato. Hello. Thank you. Isn't he cute? He's a cutie pie. We want to work on his chin a little bit. Oh, sad potato. Yes, I remember you, sad potato. You want to be a cook? Wolfie corn, hello. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thanks for joining. How have you been? How have you been, the snack potato? Thank you, Catherine. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. I gotta clean my brush. Oh, the the customer decided the size. I always ask the customer to decide the size because, you know, it might, the costs um, are higher the bigger the size. At least that's how I price my work. It takes longer for bigger sizes. Wolfie asks, I have another, do you ever dislike your commissions? No. Oh, what do you, no, I love my commissions. I love commissions. I get to serve other people with my art. It's the best feeling in the world. And if I dislike it, that means I didn't do my job, so I gotta fix it. Oh no, potato, you're stressed at school. I'm sorry to hear that. What is it, too much work? What's going on at school? Yeah, I don't know how you guys do remote learning. I don't think I'd be able to do remote learning when I was uh, your age.
Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate that. You have a do or die project. Oh, no. That sounds intense. Do you have like a deadline, a tight deadline? Wolfie says, is it bad to not like your own art, not hate it, but you can, can you still see what's wrong with it so you don't love it? Oh, yeah. Um, no, it's definitely not bad. Uh, there's always room for improvement. I think it's good that you can critique, self-critique your own work. I mean, I'm definitely still learning. I don't know everything. So no, it's not bad. You should always strive to be better. Oh, <laughs> Beverly, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, this is remote learning. You are right. That is true. But I don't think with art, I could definitely do remote learning. But with other subjects like math and I don't know. Uh, what is uh, social studies, history? Definitely not math. Math is hard to do remotely, I think. And just sitting in front of a computer all day is just not fun. You know, and you have to sit there. And switch brushes. I'll get more surface area done. Okay, Wolfie, thanks for joining. Bye. Have a good uh, time in class. Snack potato. I have to make food before Thursday and have to complete the writing when I get to Arizona. Is that what that says? Oh, okay. So you're, you have a tight deadline. Yeah, that's hard. That is hard. You'll figure it out. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yes, exactly, Beverly, yes. See, that that type of stuff, like music, art, even, I mean, maybe not as much, but music. It's like you need the teacher there to, like, guide you, you know, or correct you if you're not holding your, I don't know, instrument right or, I don't know, breathing right. All of those, all of those technical aspects of music. 
Uh, I guess you just have to adapt. Almost dropped my brush. Yeah, I feel for you, uh, potato. I would not be able to go to school. All fully remote. Get some socks, potato. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, there's probably spots I can, uh, oh yeah, definitely blend some more. Beverly, I have been teaching remotely for about five years now. Oh, what do you teach, Beverly? Pretty good. Definitely blend these more. Thanks, Catherine. Beverly says I teach people how to do income tax returns. Nice. Yes, that's very important. <laughs> yes, taxes. Do you use like TurboTax or some other? proprietary software? What do you use to teach people how to do income tax? I need more solvent. 
Oh, okay. H and R block. Yes, I have used you guys in the past. <laughs> You teach tax profess professionals all across the U.S. Nice. Good for you. So you know all about remote learning. <laughs> It's your livelihood. See, software, I, 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 um, I like teaching on, I mean, teaching, learning online, because it's, especially if it's self-paced, I can just, you know, skip around or um, replay sections. I feel like I have a good um, retention, attention span for that. So I want to make sure this is blended up here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to add some details now. So I combine um, colored pencils with some graphite pencils just to get some of these details in. Using watercolor paper, uh, it's, it's rougher texture so I can't get as much detail in there as I would like. So I want to use some 
mechanical graphite pencils. Are the areas where you blended with Gamsol dry now? Um, maybe the beginning, uh, but I usually want, I usually let it sit for a couple of hours before I add any more color or add another layer of detail. So right now I'm, I'm focusing on parts that I didn't need to blend, like this white whiskered area of this boxer. Want to add more details in here? Fur. Yeah, I definitely want to make sure everything is fully dried off before I add more more layers because I don't want to ruin the paper if it's not dry. Yeah, that that makes sense. Sure, no problem, Catherine. These are all very good questions. Thank you for asking them. Beverly, I no, I don't usually use uh, watercolor paper, uh, but for this technique with the with the solvent, I use watercolor. Uh, my main go-to paper is Strathmore Mixed Media, so that's what I normally use for most of my drawings, even graphite and colored pencil. I just like the texture of it and the thickness of it. And I, I can also, if I want to put solvent on that, I can do that as well. Yes, yes, I agree, Beverly. Very rough. And it's harder to control, you know, control your pencil marks and... Um, you, you can't get as accurate, you know? And I'm all about details and creating the exact um, textures and patterns. Thank you guys for uh, staying on this long. You guys are troopers. Are you um, multitasking or, or just watching? And what do you use to watch? Are you just on your phone? Well, thanks for joining, Potato. I appreciate it all the same. 
You're waiting for your class to start. Which class? Oh, thank you, Catherine. Well, it's a pleasure to chat with you as always. You're like um, consistently on my streams. You're like my number one fan and I appreciate it. Your iPhone taking a break from work after I finish a project. Nice. I'm crocheting. Oh, cool. Crocheting. Ooh, science class. No, no, no science class for you. Not your favorite. I used to love to, I used to love crocheting. That's the one with just one needle, right? Because knitting is two needles. That's awesome. I don't even know if I know how to crochet anymore. I have to relearn. Catherine, what do you do for work then if you're taking a break from work? Gotta get these white whiskers. You manage a high-end retail shop. Nice. Can you say what it's called? It's in a luxury hotel near where you live. Oh, okay. All right. Very nice. Very nice. How long have you been managing that shop? And do you like it? I know Potato doesn't like science. <laughs> Do you guys like what you do for a living? Oh, science is cool, just don't like the class. Got it. Yeah, that's rough. That is rough.
couple of years plus, and yes, it's sort of fun, but I'd like to be going, doing, going my art. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, definitely do your artwork. Do you have time for it or can you make time for it in between? Yes, definitely, definitely do some artwork. You need it, you need it for your soul. It's so important. So far, I've been so busy with the job, but maybe soon I will be able to make time for it. Yes. I will hold you to that. Let's keep each other accountable. I, too, would like to take a break from commission work and just do uh, more pieces for fun just for me you know like the landscape that I did yesterday that you were on Catherine that was fun like I haven't done that in a while where I was just like you know drawing for pleasure you want to see it potato um yeah where did I put it uh let me find it real quick hold on Oh, I gotta organize my office. So this is what I did yesterday for fun. Catherine was on and this was about like an hour and a half of work. It's all pencil. Something simple, you know. So I wanna do more of that. Thank you, Catherine, and thank you, Potato. Yeah, that was fun. It was it was uh, very relaxing. I had some Zen music going. So yeah, it was just nice to to do something for me, you know, and not have to worry about how it looks or if it's um, good enough. No. There's no stress involved. <laughs> so after after the holidays, um I spread out my commission work and I'm going to do more of my own stuff. Like I want to get back into acrylic painting. All that fun stuff.
Wow, time is flying. I've been streaming for an hour and a half already, guys. Wow. And I could keep going. Although I might have to stop in 30 minutes because I'm getting a little hungry. And I need to feed my puppy. She's going to start crying soon. Watch. She has like this amazing internal clock. It's like 4.30, boom, she starts crying. She wants her dinner. Kind of crazy. Yes, details. Yes. Yeah, she's funny. She's kind of crazy. But she's a puppy, so you gotta expect that from her. She is a cutie pie. That's my cutie pie, Bella. My Bellanese, Bellissima. There are all these tiny little whiskers that I need to define some more so it pops out. I might have to use my white gel pen to add some more. But for now, I want to make them sharper with my pencil. I don't know if you guys can even see this.
Oh, bye, potato. Have fun in class. Thanks for saying hi. If I don't see you, good luck on your paper. Got to get these whiskers in. So important. The boxer look. fly away hairs or fur also very important can't forget about them
see what else I could add. Uh, details. Wow, <laughs> Catherine, you have a uh, very good hearing. Yes. Lots of geese flew by. <laughs> very noisy. I always wonder what they're saying to each other when they're flying uh, together. Do you guys know? You have a lot of geese there too, yeah, right? You're in, um, what was it, uh, Massachusetts? Was it Cape Cod? I forget. Yes, I got that right. I actually remember that one. Sometimes I feel like my memory is going. Other times I'm like, oh, I still have it. <laughs> There they go again. Trying to decide what color I'm gonna 
use for the background. I don't want to leave it white. What do you guys think? In the photo, he's um, he's like on a deck. It looks like there's a beach in the background. It's like a grayish deck. So I don't know if I want to go gray or some other color. I don't know. Adding some flyaway fur here for more details. Soft gray, medium, nice. Okay. That's what I will do, Catherine. Thank you. I just needed someone to approve. <laughs> Let's go with that. Now I feel more comfortable. See, this is another reason why I like to go live. I like to collaborate. Gives me more confidence. I'm uh, making the right decision. Add some more details around the forehead because there's a uh, fur strands that go into the ear. It's not completely straight, this contour right here. Goran, hello. How are you? What are you up to, Goran? Thanks for joining.
Oh, thank you, Goran. I appreciate that, and thanks for joining. Thank you for uh, taking the plunge and joining my live. People are so shy. I'm like, say hi. Not everybody says hi. I'm not gonna bite. Are you an artist too, Goran? That's good for that ear. This ear needs some work. It's like flyaways. Sure, I have my handy dandy tracing paper. details are so important otherwise it doesn't look finished you know it's like missing some character or soul Gotta do these flyaway hair, uh, flyaway fur. It's a must. Goran, kind of during quarantine, I restarted drawing. I prefer ballpoint. Nice. Awesome, good for you. Well, I'm glad you got back into your art form. Oh, there's my doggie barking at the mailman or our neighbors. She does not like our mailman. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go here. Yes, you can hear Catherine. She has a vicious bark. She scares me sometimes. She keeps the burglars away, that's for sure. She's only 54 pounds, but she sounds massive. Goran, you were lazy before COVID situation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe you weren't lazy as so much. You uh, can't really do much these days with COVID. So you got to find ways to entertain yourself.
what kind of a ballpoint pen um, artwork do you do? Doesn't she sound older? She's only two and a half, but man, she has some bass in her bark. Oh my gosh, she's going crazy. I wonder who's out there. Oh, Goran, you're lazy for drawing. Ah, I see. Well, I'm happy to know that you are no longer lazy for drawing. Drawing is fun. Everybody should draw, especially during COVID. It's so soothing. Yes, my dog is a boxer. She's my second boxer. And I will forever own boxers. They are my dog, dog, soul dogs. She actually looks like this dog that I'm drawing. Very similar. I hear her growling. She's so upset about something. So, so upset. She's prob probably hangry. It's, uh, wow, it's 436. Holy cow. Yeah, she's gonna start crying at the door soon. Just want to finish this ear, then I'm gonna head out, get some grub, and uh, feed my boxer. And I might go live again. We'll see. If I'm not too tired. They are great protectors. I agree, Goran. I agree. They're very loyal. They're great with kids. They're funny. She cracks me up every day. Even though she does the same thing, she still cracks me up. Yes, they are very intelligent when you train them. <laughs> Some boxers, not so much. My boxer is kind of weird. She has very peculiar, peculiar, oh my gosh, you can't say that, peculiar traits and habits. But I love her to death. Okay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to take a break. Been drawing for over two hours. Catherine, thank you so much for joining. And uh, if anybody else is there, thank you. Um, Goran, thank you. Somebody else is there. Thank you for joining. Uh, I might go live again. We shall see. I appreciate it. Uh, great chatting with you guys. And uh, be safe. Have a good night. If I don't see you. Bye. Thanks, Catherine. I appreciate that. It's getting there.
definitely getting there. Thank you for um, your suggestions and and uh, keeping me company. Yay, so happy you enjoyed it. Awesome. That is good to know. Okay, bye guys. Bye YouTube. Thanks for joining. This is what I have so far. I'm gonna do the background next, I think. Bye.